Hello everybody, that's not how I start my videos, <laughs> I don't even remember how I start my videos. Um, hi, we are the 5th of April 2021 and welcome to today's update Monday. Um, now you know the date, I know that you guys require these videos to remember what day of the year it is, um, and that it is Monday. It's a strange Monday because uh, today's a bank holiday in Britain, which means that I'm not working, which is fun. Um, it's it basically I'm slightly annoyed because I woke up way earlier than I intended to wake up mostly because there was sun in my face as soon as like it came over the hill that's opposite my window and then as soon as I was like fuck's sake now I'm up it started being cloudy again so I could have just gone back to sleep but hey uh, whatever my day started now it is technically 10.40 when I uh, record this so it's pretty late in the morning anyway but, but yeah Yesterday was a weird day. Yesterday went really slowly for me, but also really quickly. Um, and it was just a really odd day in general. Uh, I played a lot of God of War. It was good. So, um, what happened last week? Not a huge amount of stuff. Um, two of my D&D sessions were um, not well, cancelled, I think is the best way to do it. Um, for differing reasons. So I only played D&D on the Wednesday, where they had a very large fight with a demon and killed it because Cameron can't read. But also he can. But also he can't. But also he can. It's just very odd. Um, so that's that. And then... Oh, and Sunday's session was also cancelled. So I didn't play a lot of D&D &D this week. Um, but I did play a lot of World of Tanks. So I say I played a lot of World of Tanks. I really didn't. I played much less World of Tanks in the last week than I have for previous months. Um, instead I've been playing a lot of Baldur Gate 3, I've been doing a, a playthrough, because we're doing a multiplayer playthrough and I was like, I'm going to play a single player playthrough. Um, yeah, it's fun. Uh, the Druid class is a lot of fun. The stories develop slightly better now, so it's a lot more intertwined. Although, the triggers for events are still like off. It's an early access, so it's understandable. But I, yeah, it's like you do something and it triggers a certain trigger when it really shouldn't do. Like, um, there's a point where you um, rescue a head druid of the grove um, from the goblin camp. You return to the grove and he, like, then tells you, like, he just appears, basically. And that's not how it's supposed to go. Like, you're supposed to go into the dungeon where you see either he's escaped or you help him escape and then he tells you oh, I'll meet you at the grove but the first time I played for it it, tr it didn't trigger correctly so I went there I saw that he'd escaped and then he just magically appeared at the grove and assumed it was you and like just instantly knew that you were the person who saved him as if you fought all your way out with him and it was very odd so I reloaded that save and it was like oh now no, it makes sense because I triggered these correctly um, there are a few bugs here and there but that's just it's early access you can't really deny the thing but yeah um after a second playthrough of it, I'm still not quite done with the second playthrough, but I don't know whether or not I'm going to keep going with it on my single player. My multiplayer, player, obviously I will, um, because I feel like there's a lot just not, I don't know, it feels really lackluster, not lackluster, there's a lot of story in that beginning section, but you, I just really want to move on and know what they've got planned for the next area, for the next part of it, which is really frustrating. Um, and after a while it just feels like no matter what you choose you end up having to explore the same areas in the same order not quite the same order also the fact that it only goes to level 4 makes it really like I want to get a level 5 I know I really want to um, but hey that's not going to happen um, anyway so that's that I played a bit of Apex not a huge amount this week um, yesterday was the biggest session played with Tsunami and Cucumber we peaked, well I peaked, um, I was doing really good, and then, pff, I don't know, the four or five last games that we played, I just got super frustrated with the amount of third party, um, fourth party, just random people just coming out of nowhere and just destroying us after we spent a good minute or so taking out another squad, which was quite, you know, intense, and then you're just about to recover and that's when they come in and you're just like... All right, cool. Well, what's what's the point? Like, I can totally understand and see why people just rat out the entire game because they don't have to deal with that absolute bullshit of 
having to fight your way to the top only to be thrown off by someone who's fighting like who's gonna wait around the corner and it's just frustrating also I just I can't seem to get my characters to just I don't know I get confused between the characters when I'm switching around and I never use them in the right place and then like you're at a point where you use Revenant you throw his orb and then you're like oh shit I'm playing Bangalore <laughs> that's not what I'm doing I don't know, that's you making bad mistakes in the ring. But I guess that's a good thing. To know that you're making mistakes means that you know where you can improve. But it's just... Ah, God, I went to sleep yesterday very frustrated. <laughs> um, yeah, that's about it, to be honest. Um, Dragon's getting really good at the game, or much better than when he started, that's for sure. Uh, you could just tell he's been posting like all his stats at the end of the battles. Um, and yeah, it's, it's really good. Um, which is nice. It's always good to see someone doing better, especially like at the beginning. I know he was getting fr frustrated because I understand that with a lot of games that I start, where you're like, I can do better. I know I can do better, and it just has that frustrating feeling of not doing great. And you're like, I got to do better. And then when you eventually get to that point, where you're like, Oh my god, I'm I'm actually doing better. I'm actually hitting my shots. I'm actually throwing the grenades in the right places. Blah 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 blah. I'm using my abilities more consistently. I'm using the right abilities in the right place. Like the brain, the the when the body meet, meet matches to what the brain wants to do, it's good. It's nice, um, and it's really nice to see that happen to other people who you consider friends. <laughs> that was a real way, a real way, a real weird <gasps> way to do that. Anyway, later I'm going to be streaming uh, my reading of the Hobbit. We're going to be probably reading two or three chapters because I feel like these are shorter chapters the last two chapters that I read um, Flies and Spiders and Barrels Out of Bond were really long chapters but they were really good chapters uh, but they were really long um, but I'm looking forward to it I'm really enjoying The Hobbit we're at like the halfway point of the book in terms of I think we're in terms of chapters as well as amount of writing left um yeah, oh my god, such a good book. Such weird book. Um like like Flies and Spiders, like Bilbo literally I keep telling people this, but Bilbo literally just attacks and manages to fend off hundreds of giant spiders on his own. Like that's compared to what he was like in the goblin place where he basically just shat himself the entire time. Um it's pretty funny. But yeah, it was it was a weird one. Um, but it was alright. What else has been happening? Like, not a huge amount. I've basically done, like, zero writing compared to the week before. I think that's when I started. I just not had any inspiration whatsoever. I keep looking at the document and just being like, I don't know where to take this, I don't know when to start this, I don't know how to start this. And I know that as soon as I start writing, as soon as I get into the mind of thing, I'll be able to do that. But Friday I spent four to five hours doing D D prep, which is based in the same world in general, and that was a lot of effort. And after that I was drained of all just of everything. <laughs> I was like, God damn, that took so much effort to build this, to make this look feasible, correct, look nice, um, to get all the characters involved, blah blah blah. Like just takes so much out of me to do it. It used to not take anything out of me, but then I used to do it in work, and I guess on Friday I wasn't working. So, um, yeah, it's just whoa, a lot of prep. But I've got this is the thing. I've got so many ideas that I develop to such an extent that they like grow to becoming a, a regular world that actually works. Like if you were to imprint what the the working in my mind. Sorry, my mat is not even to the table and it bothered me <laughs> um, yeah if you were to imprint like my ideas of a world of the world I'm thinking of in the real world then it would work as a standing world but then it's trying to translate that into a place where I can refer to it where other people can understand it where like it makes sense to everyone where that world has a history and a future and it has things in between where it has influences from culture, religion, language, blah 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 it's just a lot it's a lot um, and that's I think probably the problem is that I'm trying to make it way too complicated or more complicated than it really needs to be at this stage um, it kind of needs to be complicated from a D&D standpoint because it allows any player to explore it in any direction that they want to 
but for a reader you're telling it from the point of view of either the narrator or the character or a secondary character who's telling the story to another character so and that's probably probably where my gripe is because I don't know how I want to tell this story I don't know whether I want to tell it from a from a third person point of view or a second person point of view I definitely don't want to play it from the first person point of view I don't like first person um, yeah the first first person narratives are like really grimy and I don't like it um, which is what the Hobbit's a really strange one because it's a third person point of view told by the first person because effectively, as the reader, I am telling you the story of Bilbo. But also, it's like Tolkien is telling us, but I'm voicing his words. It's a really strange way, because it's like, you're just going through it, third person as normal. Bilbo said this, Gandalf said this, they walked into Mirkwood. And then there's some situations where it's like, because hobbits live in holes, just like I've told you before, and it's like, okay, <laughs> sure, um, yeah, it's just a really strange way, it's great, it's absolutely great, um, but it's, it's not something I expected, if I'm honest, so, okay, yawn, oh, there we go, what's happening in the week coming, not a fuck ton, um, Yeah. I don't really know. I'm just getting really, really like tired and just done. Just done. Just want to move on with my life, you know. Not be stuck in the same place doing the same thing week in, week out. And that's what it's become right at the moment. Um, and I guess I'll change when lockdown happens, and I fucking hope so. But for now, it's it's really boring really boring well with that said um, Hef still hasn't uploaded a new video other than the reaction for Rome the the mod the mod for Rome total war but I don't that's not that's not what I'm looking for Hef you know what I'm looking for why haven't you uploaded yet come on man I've up I make an update Monday every Monday for you and you don't even you don't even do a, a warband video, not warband, banner lord video. I know what I want. Um, and also, Donkey doesn't watch this. There's no point in me <laughs> rambling about Donkey doesn't watch these. Um, yeah, so I hope that you guys have a good week ahead. I'll talk to probably a bunch of you um, in, in the week ahead as well, and I will, yeah, just. In, enjoy the sun while it lasts if you're in the UK or in Europe if if it's not snowing right now um, we're probably going to have a year of incredible heat waves, drought famine, it's going to be fucking awesome uh, that's for sure, welcome to Global Warming 101 um, that's, that's, that's it I think thanks very much for watching I'll see you, uh, see you next Monday <laughs>